Hey guys, I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about what a complex sentence is and give you an example of how you can be writing complex sentences. So this is the deal. Um, in this column right here, where it says what is the significance of this quote, I want to make sure that you are always using a complex sentence. And so let's take a look at this example that we have right here. Well, page 187, there's a quote. It actually goes over to page 188 as well to the very end of one, page 187. And it says, then he rose and broke the remaining code of our childhood. And what's happening at this time is that Dill ran away um, and came to Scout's house. Um, Jem is about to go and tell Atticus what he saw. And so what we need to answer is what is the significance of this quote. And so I'm going to show you guys how to create complex sentences. This is the thing. You already talk in complex sentences. You have complex thoughts. You have complex ideas. And so I want to transition that, um, those ideas and those thoughts, into um, more um, or higher level uh, sentences. So let's kind of start off and let's kind of get some of the thoughts that we have out right now. So the significance of this quote, okay? The first thing that's important about this quote is that um, Dill trusts um, Scout and Jem. That's the first thing that's significant about this quote, okay? Second thing that's significant about this, this quote is that Jem uh, betrays, you can spell, there we go, uh, this trust. Uh, by telling Atticus uh, that Jem is at their house. And the last thing to note about this quote is that um, Atticus doesn't freak out. Atticus is actually really understanding about this. And so if Atticus is understanding about Jem's situation, Right here, guys, each of these sentences are simple sentences. And they're simple sentences because you have one subject and one verb in each of these sentences. And so what I want us to do is I want us to take these simple sentences and actually combine them together. And we do that by using commas or using semicolons, okay? So look at the first two thoughts we have right here. Dill trusts Scout and Jem, and Jem betrays this trust by telling Atticus that Jem is at, or sorry, not Jem, that Dill is at their house. Okay, well, we need to combine these two sentences together. And we're going to do that. These are opposing ideas that we have right here. That Dill does trust them, but Jem is going to betray him. So we can do this in a couple of ways. You can do it by using a fanboy. We could use one like but or yet. Um, or we could do it by using a different transitional word like however. So I'm going to go ahead and use the word um, but here. Now, both of these sentences are complete thoughts on the side, which means that then there's a conjunction in the middle, and that means we're going to go ahead and add a comma in right here, okay? So we've taken these two simple sentences and combined them together to make one compound or complex sentence. So Dill trusts Scout and Jem, but Jem betrays this trust by telling Atticus that Dill is at their house. Then we have this right here, Atticus's understanding about Jem's situation. I want to still combine this into our sentence that we have right here. And I want to add this on, but I don't want to put another conjunction to it because that would make it kind of a run-on sentence. This is what I'm going to do instead. I'm going to put a semicolon right here, and I'm going to put the word however. If you're looking here, now we have two distinct thoughts. This is not really a conjunction that's joining them together. Instead, what it is is a transitional phrase, which means it is the start of a new sentence, and then you have a comma after this. So you have Dill trusts Scout and Jem, but Jem betrays his trust by telling Atticus that Dill is at their house. Semicolon, however, comma, Atticus is understanding about Jem's situation. And this is again, not Jem, my bad y'all, Dill's situation. Let's go ahead and highlight these uh, commas that we have right here. So we have one comma here, which is a compound sentence. We have a semicolon here that's combining two distinct thoughts without a conjunction in the middle. It's not a conjunction, it's a transitional phrase. And then we do have a transitional phrase, and you do need to have a comma here as well. So again, complex sentence, guys, is when you are taking um, these simple ideas or these simple sentences that have one subject and one verb and combining them together into making more complex, more uh, rich, more deep sentences and deep thoughts as well. You will be required to do this for every single one that has where it says, what is the significance of this quote?